So I, I want to play a short clip of Fauci, excuse me, Dr. Anthony Fauci, Tony, the Fauci. Uh, he was on PBS the other day, and um, he said something that was so shocking to me that I had a post on the weekend that said, all right, this guy now, it's clear. Uh, he's extremely political. He's been in government 50 years. He's an incompetent. I really believe this. I believe he has, has a gift of communication and in that way an odd sense of charisma. And of course the media build him up. But I want to remind you of something. He's been in this job 37 years. He's been in the federal government 50 years. Well, if he's been in this job 37 years, that means what, Mr. Producer? 2009, during the swine flu, when they didn't have a handle on it, when they didn't know what they were doing, when it was pure luck, he was the infectious disease guy then too. Remember, he's the infectious disease guy. He's not America's doctor. He's not America's health expert for all purposes. He's the infectious disease guy, right? So when it came to the swine flu in 2009 and Biden, Obama did nothing right, that's what he said, claimed, we did nothing right. Did nothing right. And it was luck. Well, this same gentleman, Fauci, was in charge back then of, the, uh, of, the, of that particular contagion. All right. So let's take a listen to this. Go ahead. We've got to get the tests in the right place at the right time. As you know, we've been told by the people responsible for the test that there are a lot of tests out there. And as we get into the next weeks to months, there could be, you know, millions of more tests. We've got to use them in the right manner. We've got to get them to the right people who can do the proper identification, isolation and contact. Right, so stop. What does all this mean? We got to do this. We, he's not doing any of this. He's just the infectious disease. Man, we have an infection, this damn thing. Early on, remember what he said in January? Don't worry, it's like the flu. Oh, okay. Don't get masks. They're not going to help you. Don't worry, it's the flu. Don't get masks. And now, now we got to get everything in the right place in the right time. We got to get it all there. We got to get a lot of it. We got it. What? I mean, okay, people are trying to do that, are they not? Yes, they are. Go. Tracing and even go beyond that, Judy, to be able to test more widely in a more surveillance way so you can get a feel for the extent and the... Now, let's stop there. This is fascinating to me. If you shut down the economy, how are you going to get better and faster tests? Who's going to make them? Do you know what's involved in making something like this? Getting the material together, the technology together, the different areas of expertise and sub-expertise together. You got to put these things together. You got to make sure if they're not uh, self-revealing in terms of the testing uh, results, you got to have labs that are taking care of that. I mean, this takes an economy. So if you're shutting down an economy and people are furloughed or people are fired and so forth, how are you supposed to do all these things? I've always wondered about this. We need more masks. I know, but the economy is, we need more ventilators. Well, the economy, but we need, we need, we need, he has nothing to do with any of that coordination, just so you understand. So when he's sitting there, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to do that. He might as well be a commentator on CNN.